Hi guys, my name is Karan Chaudhary and I was born and raised in a small town called Faridabad in India. Before becoming an actor, I was a salesman in a clothing store and I used to sell shoes and clothes in Knott Place, New Delhi. And right after that, I became a gym trainer and I was a trainer for about three to four years. And after that, I moved to Bombay to pursue my career as a model and actor. And in 2013, I applied at the Neighborhood Playhouse to study acting in New York City. So I moved here in 2013. Since then, I'm actively pursuing acting. And recently, I started making my own project. Last year, I made a documentary dedication. And this year, I made a short film called New York. I wrote it, produced it, directed, and acted in it. New York has been accepted in many film festivals, and we have won about five awards in various categories. Fuck, you know what? I have a date today, and because of you, I'm gonna mess up. Hey, okay, look, look, huh? my boss, huh? All right, I also gotta go. I have a date waiting for me. Hey, hey just, just pay me and deal with your own personal problems later, huh? My personal problems? You're the one who's causing these personal problems. Oh, oh, what? Are you blaming me for getting yourself locked out of your apartment? You're a delivery guy. You got one job to do. If you'd have done a job like you're supposed oh, to do... Oh, if you cooked your own food like you're supposed to. You make a living because of people like me. And you get to enjoy hot food in bed because of people like me. me. Yeah, where is it? Where is my hot food? Look, I didn't fucking... In look, I don't argue with you. I just want to get my money and get out of here. Hey, Sean. The number one problem that I'm facing, and I'm sure a lot of people who come from different countries are still facing, having to deal with their immigration status. People who come from different countries and to pursue their career as an actor in this country, United States, you have to have the artist visa. It's really hard to get artist visa. And even if you have the artist visa, a lot of the production, film and TV both, would still not give you the job because they consider people who have green cards or people who are citizens of this country. So all that work that you put into getting the O-1 artist visa, it's almost useless. The only way to get the jobs and pursue a successful acting career is to get a green card. And how I'm facing that problem and trying to solve it is making my own projects. The faster you can apply for the green card, the better for you. And the way to do it is make as many projects as you can. Take them to the film festival. Let's see if they win some awards, you know, get press for you. And then once you have enough projects about yourself, then you can apply for the green card and the chances are you will be much more successful. The another problem that I'm facing is financing for the project. I had an idea, I wrote a script and now I'm going into the production. But when it comes to budgeting, I was surprised that turning a script into a film is way harder than I thought. So what I did budgeting wise that my latest film New York was originally written according to the night, night sequences. So we turned the night sequences into day sequences. So that saved me money on the lighting. You know there was a lot of shots of which I planned in Times Square which is really, really hard to get along, you know, with equipment and the crew and especially shooting and retakes. So what I did was I took all those sequences and put it in a Greenwich Village streets, which are much easier to shoot, much nicer to, you know, look on camera. And the other problem was the crew. So f a lot of the jobs were distributed to my, my actors, myself. I was doing probably three or four jobs on the day of shooting. So I cut a lot of crew and that saved me a lot of money. And that's how I was able to shoot New York under a very limited budget and in just one day. There's another problem that I face and I'm sure a lot of first time filmmakers are still facing that they have finished their first film, how to take it to their audience, especially to the film festivals. If you go on Film Freeway site, there's about six to 7,000 festivals listed. Each festival would cost you from thirty to sixty dollars. If you decide to submit your film in twenty festivals, that's gonna cost you a lot of money. So what I did, I wrote a personal email to every film festival that I wanted to submit. And even more, I, I sent a personal email to more than a thousand film festivals saying, I'm an immigrant, this is my first film, and all I want is some sort of a discount or a waiver. And you would be surprised what a success it was. I was successful 90% of the time. 
I submitted my second film New York in 60 film festivals and 50 of those film festivals gave me full waiver. All you got to do is ask because the answer is always no until you ask. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would love to know what kind of problems you're facing, especially if you happen to be from a different country or any other visa problem, or if you're an actor and trying to make their own projects and the problems you're facing. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.